Hey guys, Hex here. So, I'll be explaining to you guys how I do the Abandoned Creep, the new event for um, Grim Souls. So, first off, get ready to kill the bat. So, that's why we bring this um, crossbow. Uh, this one is really good, this uh, simple crossbow, because it kills him in, uh, in uh, two shots. So there's no real need to, to use the light crossbow or uh, what the fuck is or like um, uh, anything higher than that. Like the, the this crossbow is really good. If you don't have it, however, you can use like a, a simple bow. So just want to kill everything on sight and get inside the crypt as soon as possible. Uh, you want to gather <coughs> the stuff to go inside. Oops. And oh, also, so we'll be using. Um, hello. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm also using the um, like these uh, flange maces because anything with like uh, 35 HP I think the uh, 35 damage will kill the um, those uh, these skeletons so if you don't have that however uh, you can always use um, a lower damage weapon like uh, Jesus Like a uh, spike mace. Hello? Wait. Oh, okay. Starting to worry there. Do we have a piece of wood? Yes, we do. Okay. So, you might want to bring an axe from home so that. You don't waste time here looking for the stuff to make one, but it's all the same. Also, you want a source of light, so a torch, or if you have, preferably a, a flaming sword. And let's just get inside. So a flaming sword, because it never really runs out. So that also works. And now here's the trick to, to the crypt to know if you've done all of the floors. It's really simple and it works on any maze um, you may find, or pretty much any maze, which is you follow one side of the wall until you reach the, 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 the entrance by the other side. So since we're coming from here, we'll be hugging this wall and we'll end up in this wall. Or you could do the, the opposite, you could start in this wall and end up in this wall here and there's also an exit um, another exit but we, we won't be taking that one because we'll be checking all the rooms doing this method so we just hug the wall and we kind of follow it always be ready with the, the weapon when you enter a room so probably an enemy here yeah there's a trap there so we just follow the wall We'll check every room eventually, but for now, we just really want to follow the wall and see what we get. Oh, that's a good iron. There we go. So, since we came from the hugging this wall, we'll keep this way. You can activate the traps uh, preemptively. Or you can try and dodge them all. So, there's nothing here. So, we'll just go alongside this wall. Uh, 
Oh oh. Bring something to drink also. So. Okay. Keep following the wall. And here we go. I just like to, to activate the trap so I don't have like a nasty surprise after. So there's nothing here, right? So we just keep at it. Okay, just make sure before I hit this trap that everything inside is cleared. Okay, I think this one is a lootable one. So there should be anywhere from like two to four of these chests, right? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't really need this. So, same thing. Okay. Nothing here. Keep following it. Because there's a bunch of rooms. So. This is a good way to navigate yourself. I'll finish this one, I guess. Oh, oh. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah. So this wall, this wall. We keep going. We loot the thing. Oh yeah, sometimes there's the, the possessed in here, right? So, nothing here, nothing there. Whoop. Okay. So we keep going this way. Uh, yeah. Don't really like this weapon for this. Make sure to activate the traps if you if you like. There's another trap in front of me. No? Okay. Yeah, there is. Okay, another room. And this is why we have the supply food, just in case. The the emergency food, so. Whoops! I was about to use the the flaming sword. Don't wanna do that. So Okay. Follow the wall. Okay. Fuck! <clears throat> yeah. Sometimes that happens if you bring a a flame sword. That yeah, could be worse. So we, yeah, this wall, okay. Okay, this wall, nothing here, nothing there. We keep following it. Okay, so there's the exit and the trap.
Oh wait, our, our armor is a bit low. I yeah, should be fine. So, <clears throat> this would be the exit, but we'll keep following the wall and see what else we we have around here. Okay, so You're gonna pass by areas that you already had passed by, but by hugging the walls <coughs> you'll make sure you'll go around every room. Uh, just make sure, yeah. So. Oh, that was a visual bug. Okay. This way you don't even have to think about the layout of like what rooms are there, etc. Okay. You can just follow the wall and don't worry about anything. Except this fucking possessed that keep appearing instead of my loot. Okay, so just make sure to open the doors so you keep following the wall correctly. Uh, might as well. Wait, do I have. Yeah. Alright. Now. Keep going at it. Get some loot. Mm, don't need this, don't need this. And could always use the the drink from these mushrooms. If you wanna keep the mushrooms, sure. But have plenty at home. So, following the wall. Yeah, I'm good. Still. Well, no weapons this run, apparently. I mean, we had the morning star, but. Oh! Who's there? So. Going at it. Fuck. Ah, close one. So I think we might have cleared. No, there, there's still one room I think that we've passed that had a door, but I'm not sure. No, it wasn't a door. Okay. Oops. was about to fuck it up. And as you can see, we end up in the wall opposite to the one we started, on the other side of the door. So we know for sure we've done the whole event and that's pretty much how you should do it, or one of the ways to do it. I mean, you can also like grab a piece of paper and um, map out all of the dungeon, but uh, I, I just have uh, less trouble doing it this way. So, here you go. See ya.